Hi everyone and welcome to Dr. Kitty. Now unfortunately the NOAA had changed their weather API and they only now serve the weather over HTTPS. We we can't use, we only have HTTP. So currently uh, live weather on all flight gear installations are broken <coughs> and it's essentially unusable. And it will say that no meter available aboarding and all weather will be gone because the METAR service is not available or has changed it, we cannot no longer open it. Now there are a couple ways around this. The first way is that some people have been actually patching the executable and distributing them. So if you're using Flightgear 2018.3.2, the latest version, on a 64-bit computer, you can download the executables from these websites. This is the one for Windows and someone just made it for Linux. And you can download these executables and replace the uh, fgfs.exe in your installation directory, which is the one you just downloaded. But if you don't feel like uh, downloading and executables and replacing them, you can also just search up the METAR. For example, this time I'm researching the VTSP and I'm using the data from aviationweather.gov and I'll be copying this text right here meter text and then put the information into the launcher now the good thing another good thing about this is that in this case if you know how to use edit METARs you can also change the situation to be more of your thing so we will be replacing the text here select manual input here ooh that's not good and also just click fly and you'll be flying with the correct weather information. Although it will not update when you do a longer distance flight, you'll be stuck with the weather describing the text, but at least you get real weather working and it will work fine if you're doing this in a local environment. So thanks for watching this episode of Dora Kitty. Uh, I hope to see you next week with a more nicely edited video and we'll see you again next Saturday. Have a nice flight.